Next, you should become familiar with adding a new material database definition. Switch to the Material DB tab. Again, the buttons at the bottom left enable you to manage material definitions in the list. Click the New button. The new iMachining DB file dialog box is displayed. Enter a name for the new material file. The name only serves to help you visually identify the specific material in the list. It must be unique, but does not need to be identical to the material's standard name. For the purpose of this exercise, add titanium to the list. Call it titanium underscore TI. Then, click Save to confirm the creation of the new material file and add it to the list. In the Material Properties area, there is one required value needed for the material database when adding a new material. It is represented by the yellow field. Since different materials require different amounts of force to cut them, iMachining uses the Ultimate Tensile Strength, or UTS, as the physical property that determines the force required for a particular cut. The iMachining Technology Wizard is dependent upon the correct UTS value to produce good cutting conditions. The best way to find the correct UTS value of a specific material is by using www.matweb.com, an online resource for material property data. Go to your internet browser and search www.matweb.com. Click the searchable database of material properties link. Enter titanium in the search field and click search. Select the first entry in the list, titanium TI. In the mechanical properties area, you will find the UTS is 220 megapascal. It is important to know the exact specification of your stock material so you may find the correct UTS value. If there are many entries to choose from, always start with the highest UTS value. This is absolutely safe. Navigate back to Autodesk Inventor and the iDatabase dialog box in InventorCam. Enter 220 megapascal in the input field text box for ultimate tensile strength. Click Save and Exit to add the new machine and material database definitions to the iMachining database. You can also add and or edit machine and material database definitions outside of creating a new CAM part. This can be done by using the InventorCam 2014 tab on the Autodesk Inventor ribbon. Go to the CAM Settings panel, click the Options dropdown, and choose the iMachining Database command. The iDatabase dialog box is displayed and enables you to control the machine and material database definitions. Now that a new machine and work material is added to the iMachining database, select them in the iMachining data area. Click the arrow under Machine Database and choose Haas SS New from the list. You will notice that the machine default level of 6 is automatically selected for the machining level. It is possible to choose a different default machining level for the CAM project using the drop-down under Machining Level. Keep in mind that you can also change the level per operation using the Machining Level slider on the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Next, click the arrow under Material Database and choose Titanium TI from the list. If you do not make these selections now, InventorCam will prompt you to define the machine and material databases when the first iMachining operation is added to your CAM part. The CAM part definition process is now complete. To save the CAM part data and close the Milling Part Data dialog box, click Save and Exit. The InventorCam Manager is displayed, and iMachining can now be used to define how you want to machine. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to complete the second stage of defining the CAM part for iMachining. Remember, 
The procedures for completing this step include defining the machine and work material parameters for the iMachining database.